right new to at school? I want a field trip. Yeah, but don't tell the mum and Sarah. I'd say five, they've got potential. What about him? Four. I'll give him more than that. Oh, he's too old. You want him a bit of experience. He now has to reach all the right bits. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're not being rude. Of course not. <laughs> Hey, we're all skint at my house. Good. So we still up for that drink tonight? Haven't you heard? The Vic's not opening. Oh, great. What are we going to do then? We could go to E20, have a girls' night out. Yeah, sounds good to me. I'm not going to some nightclub. Nah, me neither. Don't be soft. You were fighting them off last time. No, I wasn't. I saw you with that Billy Mitchell. Besides, I've already got a date for tonight. Front of the telly with Alan Titchmarsh. <gasps> now, I'm not panicking, Shell. I'm just worried about you, that's all. Right, OK, well, I... Not Dad, it's not fair. Everyone else is going to the 20. I told you, you went last week. She's not going clubbing every night. Well, I'd look after her. Oh, and that's supposed to make me feel better. Yeah, Dad will be here to speak to Trevor when he calls. I told you, I'm watching Alan Titchmarsh. But you don't want to be stuck in here all night. Well, I'll have to be. Listen to all of you. This is meant to be our new home. What's that got to do with it? Well, we ain't had a night in since we've got here. So none of you are going out. Oh, great. It will be. So shut your gobs and behave. And we'll have a nice little family get-together. Oh, lovely. I'm going to put the kettle on then. Good. Jamie! Had no idea waving a toy cab gun out of her window would literally bring her village... Anyone fancy a brandy? It's been in the cupboard for about five years. I brought it back from Benidorm in 93. And you're going to drink it? Of course. It's a drop of the vintage stuff. I just put the gun out like that. Some Right, who fancies watching what? Oh, I want to watch Ground Force. You've always had the odds for that Alan Titmarsh. No, I haven't. Oh, but he is lovely. There's a documentary I fancy. Oh, listen to that. Oh, is that the one on fencing? Oh, garden fencing. Oh, don't be silly. Look, it's an in-depth investigation into the black economy of stolen goods. I have some tips, Nan. <laughs> <laughs> Me and you will fall out in a minute. There's a film on Mel Gibson later. Oh, fancy a bit of that. Oh, yeah, it looks good. They're giving it four stars. Dad! We're meant to be having a family night in. We can sit and chat. What about? Well, oh, whatever you like. Believe it or not, we used to do a lot of this in the 60s. I wonder if one was on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing you can do can change that. There's Mel. Go on, son. Watch out, there's one behind you. Got him. They just swatted. Somebody wanted to sit and talk. Yeah, family thinks. All you lot are on about is tights and dry skin. Oh, look at him there. I mean, you think he'd stop for a cuppa after killing all them drug dealers. He's a smooth operator. You look, he's showing her his bruises. Oh, look at that full poster bed. I'd rather look at his biceps. Oh, there's a surprise. She's going to massage him better. I think he's really tasty. There goes the baby oil. I'd rather use ice cream. <laughs> so we. Big dollop of chocolate chip. That's <laughs> enough of that. I'm only having a laugh. Well, I don't think it's funny. I'll leave her, Mo. No, I won't. She's turning into a right little scrubber. You'll land up like her next door, or you're not as big and clever as you think. <laughs> Sneaked us another brandy. Oh, we're mowed. Did not go off on one earlier, didn't she? She makes me sick trying to make out she's my mum. Yeah, I know. I'll keep getting my nerves too. Just because they're half dead. <laughs> Bit of a right, this stuff, isn't it? I'm surprised Robbie ain't round here chasing me. And what was it like when you did it with him? <laughs> you don't fancy him, do you? <laughs> of course not. That's why you ask him. You won't say anything. No, I'm your best mate, and I. The laughs on then. I've never done it. <laughs> never! 
And away you go on about it. Well, you have to. What, and you're still a virgin? Don't take the mic out. <laughs> oh, I don't feel so good. Do you feel sick? No, I'll be all right. Oh. <coughs> Charlie, Sally's been sick. Come on, then, will you hurry up? Yeah, all right, I'm coming now. Let's get out of here while we've got the chance. I don't want to be out too late. Keep it down when you come in. Oh, I was going to wake you all up. Have another nice family chat. Let's see your cheek. And don't get too plastered. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> see you later. Guys, see you then. See you in the morning, girls. I'll leave this bowl here in case you're ill in the night. Take no notice of you, Nan. Me and your mum, God rest her soul. We couldn't be more proud of you. Thanks, Dad. Love you. And you, Angel. Well, I don't know, Jim. I reckon we deserve a beer after all that work. Yeah, look, I've just got to sort young Sonia out. No, 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 no. She's not back from the register office yet. Trust me, I've been there, done that. Five times, remember? Yeah, we left the Sabbath because I've done all my money on our little enterprise, haven't I? Yeah, all right. I'll stand you a pint. Come on. Just the one, though. No? Yeah, yeah. Just the one. You know what? We can end up connoisseurs of hell by the time we finish this lot. I know my beers already, sir. Oh, do you reckon you do, do you? I don't know. Oh, I don't. All right. Yeah. Not a... I'll give you a hammer then. Oh, thanks. I'm leaving home now. Yeah. No reason not to help a lady, though, is it? Oh, thank you. I never really think of myself as a lady. Well, well, you should be. You're the nearest thing we've got to one round here, that's for sure. Looks like you're the closest thing we've got to a gent and all. Yeah, well, I might not have had a proper education, but I do know how to treat the fairer sex. <laughs> yeah, I could take these from now. Oh, right. Uh, I think I'm going to invite me in for a cup of tea. Oh. Oh, yeah. All right, then. Come on. <laughs> so, um... Oh, sorry, take a seat. Oh, Was there a... Anything in particular? No, I just thought I'd come and have a little chat, but I, I can see you're up to your eyes in here. I'll take it. Oh, look at that. Brewed to perfection, that is. My Trevor always likes me to pour. He says he's hopeless at stuff like that. <laughs> you wait there, Nan. I will be when I unload all this lot off. Oh. What's he doing here? Oh, um, Billy's to help me with the shopping. Hey, I'll, I'll keep you with it. Right night in shining armour, ain't you? Yeah, well, you know, I like to do my bit. Well, you know our Mo's a married woman, so don't go getting any wrong ideas. Nan? Well, I weren't born yesterday, girl. You'll have a bad reputation hanging about with blokes like him, and you know what your Trevor's like. Oh. I can assure you, Mrs H, my intentions towards your granddaughter are entirely honourable. Yeah, well, I hope they are, cos you'll have me to answer to, all right? Here, Bill. Wanna cut the scum out of your life? How about a nice little... Magnetic water softener. Right, James. As you're such an expert, here's your next mystery point. What do you reckon? Well, it's got a nice head on it. I'll say that for it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Smooth feel that, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice, better aftertaste, yeah. It's a light and mild. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Have another go. <laughs> Well, if I ain't a light mile, it's got to be a light better. Which pump? No, you're miles off. Absolutely miles off. What's going on there, then? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. You're looking better. You're on. These hops were definitely picked on a Friday afternoon. By hand or by machine, you reckon? Oh, let me see. What are you two on? That's exactly what we're trying to figure out. Look, this one dead. Okay, hang on. That's exhibit A in our little competition, that is. What, so you can get the most blooded? Oh, no, we are identifying the qualities of your finest ales. Ah, well, would you mind bringing exhibit A to Z? Back to the bar when you're finished. You can still walk. So what do you do with yourself after closing then, darling? Well, I usually go to bed with a cup of cocoa. Oh, what a terrible waste, isn't it, Ron? Shocking, mate, shocking. I'll tell you what, if you have a fancy bit of after-hours company. Now you stop right there. 
or you'll be putting ideas into my head. That's the whole point, isn't it? Come on, doll. How about it? You and me, up west later on. You can get away before closing, can't you? Well, I'll think about it. What's this space? Now, Charlie. Oh. What sort of concoction do you want this time? Uh. Honestly, there's nothing. No, and I'm sorry. Forty. Well, I gave you the five. Mm. Here you go, love. <coughs> they don't teach you like they used to, do they? <laughs> You didn't have to go and embarrass me like that. You were right. I didn't have to do anything. So watch this stall for Paul in like I promised. I think it's going to rain. <laughs> Cheery beggar, ain't you? Always expect the worst in this life, young lady. You'll never be disappointed. Yeah, I just wanted to check if he's coming. The residency order. Alright, well let me know the minute you hear anything, yeah? I'll be on this number. Alright, bye. Dad, what's the residency order? It's nothing for you to worry about. It's just something to do with the club. Oh, Mel, um, <sighs> you ain't seen Steve this morning, yeah? Why are you asking me? Hey, Jug. Thanks. My treat. Good catch. Come on. You're gonna have to pay for that. Roger, give me back. I have Steve's bed pay for me when you get this message, right? <clears throat> I'll see you later, doll. Yeah, see you guys. Hi, darling. Alright. You two seem to be getting the right these days. Well, of course we are. Why shouldn't we be? I didn't say you wasn't, did I? Here you're right. There's our little investment coming up. Oh, fermenting slowly, mate. And my girls are all giving me earache about the whiff of it. Well, have you tried laying the bar for that stench in the air? Yeah, close your eyes. You think you passed that face down on a pub floor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gonna go and have a look see how it's coming on. Might be safer than in here. Wait, have you picked up your pension yet? Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Laura. Right off, is it? Unofficial. All right, Mo. Ooh, you're off out somewhere. Oh, what this? No. <laughs> No, I always like to make an effort of an evening, you know. So I wish more men were like that. My Trevor, right, he's got one suit, he drags it out for weddings and funerals, and that's it. The rest of the time, he's a right scrappy beggar. Yeah, but I bet he dresses up nice when he takes you out, don't they? Oh, well, he works really hard on these road games, you know. Just needs a good rest when he gets home. So you don't get out much, then? Huh? Well, he still goes down the pub with his mates, of course, so I can't deny him that, can I? <laughs> Takes me with him sometimes. Mm. That's good of him. Yeah. <laughs> Who's Trevor? Yeah. Mm. Still trying to get your grubby mitts on my granddaughter, are you? We was talking about my Trevor, actually. Yes, I bet you was. Sweet balls. <laughs> Sweet or dry? Well, I don't know, I didn't ask. Well, you better have one of each then, haven't you? Side away. Who's the lucky girl? Um, no one, you know. Hey, do you hear that? Robbie's on a promise. I'll leave it out. <laughs> no, it's Who is that boat, Dad? We called him the Night Watchman in Brixton. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Was he a screw or something? Nah, it was the job he was supposed to be doing when he accidentally slipped the contents of the punter's safe into the back of his patrol van. <laughs> nice. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun with this one, son. How do you expect him to sleep with this rattle? Oi, leave some cider for me. I ain't touching it much. In landing up then? Yeah, two stories later. That's kids for you. I can't wait till my little niece old enough to make bedtime stories. She just said, could have saved me the trouble. You are old fashioned kind of guy, you ain't ya? If you want me to do it. Come here. Catherine! Catherine! What should you do? What are you doing? What's the with you? Look, it looks like I wear myself. Get him off the bar with you. I'll see if I can find a dustpan. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Sorry, Jim. It looks like I'm on my own again. Uh, two pints of Churchill. Place oh, right straight. Up. Two straight pints, just playing at the same pump. Yes, we can't be connoisseurs of ale every night, are we? Oh, that reminds me. Yeah. You slate. I think you said I'm not to serve you till you pay it. Oh, yeah, well, in that case, this is on him. Uh, well, you nicked half my pension already, haven't you? Oh! Oi! Watch where you're going, will you? My apologies. Yeah, I should think so, I know. You see, that is what is missing in the modern world. Manners. You really are a decent bloke, aren't you? Well, yeah. That's been said. We're going to have to find you a really nice girlfriend. Someone who deserves you. And then you can get yourself married like me and my Trevor. <laughs> that is what you want, isn't it? A wife and family of your own life. Well, yeah, you know, but... <laughs> I'm the right woman, though. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm going to have to put my thinking cap on tonight. I've forgiven you, you know, for biting my lip. I mean, we can all get overexcited in the heat of the moment, can't we? You know, you're really starting to wind me up with this. You want to pack it in, because next time it won't be just your lip that gets dirt. Oh, more physical contact. I just can't wait. In that case, you can have it now. <laughs> oh, oh what's where you're going, will ya? What's all that about, then? Oh, hormones, most probably. What did you just say to then? Nothing. I never said nothing, I swear. Gary, you know I can tell when you're lying. What was that all about? She's had a few bevies, like, and just came over a bit amorous. Oh, Kat, with you? It's nothing to worry about, honestly. Like I said to her, like I said, it's just a drink. I mean, I told her I'm a one-woman man, that's what I said. She's just probably got the young. I should probably forget about it tomorrow. Look, get yourself a drink. I've just got to go to Jen's, all right? I don't believe this. Never. I'm not cross. You got the young view or something? Me? No. Well, not yet, anyway. I think you're making a mountain out of a scout tent, mate. I mean, it's only a couple of passion killers, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, 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 no. How do you know that, Jim? Here, you ain't the phantom knicker knicker, are you? What's <laughs> <laughs> wrong with him with a pair of your drawers? Listen, mate, I spent five years in the vice squad looking out for perverts like you. <laughs> so, this is what you call being a good father, then, is it? Our son is currently in the care of two drunken teenage girls and a half naked Robbie Jackson. What? You know, you're never going to keep him now, Beppe. Here you drink, Sandra. Clear this lot away, will you? Peggy's gonna look for a bit. Meet your new boss. Shall I? Hey? Don't say I didn't give you this chance to change your mind. Good time then. Oh, it was brilliant. That club you've been in or what you got up to? <laughs> <laughs> So where's the party? If I don't get enough pretty quick, it's going to be over. Oh, I can't have that, can I? Why don't you let me buy you something to eat? Mm -hmm. Cheer you up a little bit. Yeah, all right then. Mel, I'll catch you later. Another day, another dollar. Oh, do have to rush off? Yeah, Phil's got a nightmare when I'm at the Vic. He needs me to open up. You do love me, don't you, Gary? Of course I do. Stop worrying. She made a complete fool of herself last night. Well, she won't do that again, Larry, will she? Right, I'd better get going, alright? Okay. Shouldn't you be getting off and all? <sighs> Terrible. Got one of my migraines coming on. Oh, you poor thing. What's all this on? <sighs> you don't want to know, believe me. Aye! Family, remember? Family? It's a joke. I caught Kat trying it on with Gary last night. Stephen, will you get Lynn? I'm rushed off my feet here. You're doing all right. Besides, you look pretty fit to me. So you had enough yet? Yep. I'm going to go home, have a nice long bath and an even longer sleep. Well, enjoy. You look gorgeous. I did film last night, remember? Oh, how could I forget? You embarrassed yourself then and all. I don't think it's embarrassing, telling a beautiful woman how gorgeous she is. What would Lynn say if she knew what you was up to? Don't you worry about Lynn, she's sweet. It is more than can be said for you. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm just popping over, check on Mark's ass. See you too. Where have you been? Clubbing. That beer stinks. Oh, you two are life and soul this morning. <gasps> Surprised. I already slept last night because of you. Me? What have I done? Oh. Would I have had a good time while you had an early night? Sick. Anyone say my flaming knickers? If they don't turn up sharpish, I'm going to get the law onto it. And what's going on here? Well, what's up with that dozy cow? No, it's not for me to say. You better. I ain't having no bad blood in this house at breakfast time. Look, it really is none of my business, but I think that Cat should go and see him straight away. What have you got to do with me? Get over to the calf and salt it out. Excuse me, but I'm going to go have a bath. You'll get over that calf now, even if I have to drag you over all there. Right, all right, I'm going to get changed first if that's all right with you. Where's my knickers? Yeah. Is Carrie not around? I haven't seen her. Probably sleeping off an hangover. Still, looks like you found a new friend. <laughs> Zoe, this is Nobby. Nobby, this is Zoe. What are you doing with it? I bought it for Chloe, didn't I? Picked it off of a stool. You're mad, you are. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just a loving uncle who can't help spoiling his little niece. Where am I? Yes, Nobby. Okay. Hello, you two. <laughs> oh, I'm going to miss her and all. But... How do you mean? So what can I get you? Alright, what am I supposed to have done? Oh, don't play the innocent with me. What is it with you? Last night, think about it. What? You're gonna stand there and make me spell it out? Gary's told me what happened. Oh, did he? Yeah. And what was that then? I think you should go. Now. What's going on? Oh, stay out of it, you. Yeah, fine, but keep your personal life out of my chat. I was going anyway. I've got someone to see. Oh, yeah. I'll speak to you later. Sorry about that. Well, if you can lend me 20,000 on those rates, I'm very interested. Yeah. What well, when... He's lying. Oh, please. And you had to go out and walk around the block three times just to think that one up. Read my lips. There's nothing going on between me and Gary. Only because he's got more sense than to go out with every slapper that offers it to him on a oh, plate. Shut up. Just because you're too pressy to keep it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I've warned you about this before. If you're going to argue in public, you go out in the street and do it. I can't take this no more. Where are you going? Have you seen your Get dad? out of my way! Hey! It was him, you stupid car. He was hitting on me. He has been for the past six months. I'll give it a rest, you dirty flag. If something's mine, you've got to have it, ain't ya? What's going on if one's looking? Apparently they're trying to get it on with her, Gary. She wouldn't do that. I'll trust you to stick up for her. That makes sense, that does. The truth is, your boyfriend is a lying, cheating scumbag! And you're so stupid you can't see it! What are you going to tell her that for? Because that's what happened. We shouldn't marry him and have his kids and everything. Not my life, not my problem. No, it's hers. And you're just going to ruin it. You can be a right selfish bitch, can't you? Well, you've seen your dad, have you? What? Charlie, I'm looking for him. Why are you women all so moody? Oh, go oh, in! Charlie! Here! What sort of sentence do you get for a nick of theft, then? Well, it depends on the thief, if they've got any previous. Well, I want to see this one locked up and the key thrown in the river. Look, we do all we can. Can I have a look at the, at the crime scene? You do that. Quick enough to arrest me for the smallest misdemeanor. Hello. What are you doing home, then? It's terrible. Has this got anything to do with the spot above her this morning? Yeah. Kat's been trying it on with Gary. I just can't believe she'd do that. How do you know? Because he told me. Did he now? Right, I'll sort this out. Everything all right? No, it ain't. This house stinks. Oh, that's why I'm here. Oh, and I suppose that's supposed to make me feel better. Women, that beer won't be ready until next week. Of course it will. It, look, I've got a financial proposition to put to you. Look, why don't we bottle it up and flog it round the square? Flog it? I thought we were going to drink it. Yeah, well, some is crops up. I need the cash. Why don't I like the sound of this? Well, look, Christmas is just round the corner, Charlie. Couldn't you do it with a few extra pound? Yeah, I suppose so, but... Well, it settles it, then. Go on, get a couple of glasses. We'll have a taste in. It ain't legal, Jim. Yes, well, we ain't gonna get nicked. Oh. Right. Fancy a cup of tea? So... What would Mum say? If she did it, 
that she would be a disgrace to this family. No, so much I love Gary. Her problem is she only loves herself. What do you want? I just came to say I did it. It was only meant to be a bit of fun. I know your future's with Gary, and you wouldn't do anything to hurt you. He loves you too much. I'll do an all, so I'm sorry. You disgusting, filthy slapper. How could you do that to me? How could you do that to yourself? <sighs> all right, let's have a look at her. <laughs> You're gonna let me in on the joke or what? Sorry, customer needs serving. Vodka and tonic, make it a double. Nice to see you entertaining the store holders this morning. Yeah, well, if you got it, you might as well use it. Come on, you never miss an opportunity to do that, do you? Shut your gob. I'll get this. Oh, so she's on the way then? Like, what time can I expect her? Taxis. You're setting her up in your own business. Now, what do you say? Taxis? For me? Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, how's it going to work then? You're giving it all the smooth talk. It's disgusting. I thought you didn't care. Can I get you another one? No, I'm all right. But thanks for being good to me. Yeah, well, that's just one of my many talents, isn't it? Yeah? You can get all at once, will you? Cheers, thanks. What are you doing? I'm just helping Mel out. What time do you know? It's only a bit of fun. So what, if it's that case on the man can stay down, you bleeded. Now what are you out from behind there now? But Phil... I ain't I... arguing with you, out now. I'm sorry. That's totally out of order. I do the iron fire man here. Well, you better hire pretty quick. I'm walking out that door too. We can relieve the pressure in a bit and all. <laughs> I'm just off, right? Sorry, sorry, too many balls in the air. I've been trying to get hold of you all day. What's going on? Oh, nothing to worry about, just a little problem with the contract. Thanks, Steve, I needed that. My pleasure. Hey, what have you been planning? I thought you... Yeah, well, you need to think again, darling. What do you think I'll take it verbal with a little slapper like you? <laughs> Look at you, you're a state. Sorry about that. Oh, kids. I'm not going to believe a word she said anymore. I mean, what kind of person would tell lies like that, eh? Oh, did you? It takes a thief to know a thief, don't it? Can I uh, interest you in some locally brewed uh, limited edition real ale? Own brew? No, own brew don't do it justice, so. Uh... Eight pence, please. Well, for a few mushrooms. Can I put you down for a few pints in? Oh, wait, hang on a minute. That is an Irish fibre. It is not legal tender. Well, I was part of the British Arms, isn't it? No. And you are becoming a liability. You sure that's dodgy? I mean, I can't afford to be half put out of pocket. I've got a great granddaughter to support me. It's Mark! So, it's back to humdrum reality, is it? Well, I can't stay on the road forever. Anyway, I want to check up on my livelihood. I see you've been taking on extra staff. Eddie's just been over the maths. Well, it was a favour to your mother, really. Oh, I see. Well, I suppose I better see if the maths add up then. The books? Ignore all the crossing out. Boss the gem. Get it yourself. Oi! Can't have any fun, can I? Oh, you've had enough fun. Anyway, I can't hear myself think. Will you both put a sock in it? You're giving me a right earache. She started it. I'll finish it in a minute. It's like being on Jerry Springer. Maureen, who's on Jerry Springer? Nobody. Nothing. 
Oh, isn't it nice to come home and work to a house full of smiling faces? I'm going for a walk. I'm obviously not wanted round here. Hang on. Am I missing something? Oh, don't worry about her. She's sexually frustrated. No, I'm not! Eat your toast! There's something going on. Now, I'm going to go and get my paper, and I want it sorted before I come back. What your dad don't know won't hurt him, right? Right, so? Right, right. I've been working my dad too long. Anyway, cheer up, I'm here, ain't I? At least one of us got a golf boat last night. I'm not in the mood, Mark's back. So? So, he's off checking the takings, ain't he? This is job five figures don't add up. Shame we'll have to get your boyfriend in it. One with loads of cash, you won't have to freeze your butt off all day working on his stupid stall. Here comes my favourite taxi driver. All right, Dad. All right, Angel. Kerry. What's the matter of everyone this morning? Is it the world's going to end at lunchtime or something? Yeah, well, if it was, I'd be the last to know. Cat and Lynn are like punching Judy this morning. Still fighting over who made the first move. What do you mean? Cat or Gary? Oh, here you are. Have you checked up on our little brewery this morning? We only looked at it yesterday. It's all 24 hours a long time at brewing, Charles. Well, I've just come off me cab. Well, where's your enthusiasm? I mean, I've even thought of a name for it. I know it's something for the winter, like, you know, the Wolford Warmer. Yeah, very catchy. Can't we do this later? I want to have a word with my irresistible son-in-law. Well, it can wait till lunchtime, can't it? Oh, I pass the mission on to Gary if you want. We was going over to the garage later anyway, weren't we, so... See Jamie. Are we? Yeah. Well, come on, look, we've got work to do. This is a partnership, isn't it? Yeah, all right. Well, tell Gary I want to see him in the vic at lunchtime. No arguments. Well, I've got to go and buy my trainers first, but as soon as we get back, we'll go around there. Come, come on, come on. Booze wait for no man. Now, I should be able to raise some of the money you need by tapping into the overdraft facility. Most likes. All right, girls, what can I do for you? You better get a suit of armour, because you're in a lot of trouble. Amy, so... What's she on about? Dad wants a serious word, so let's meet him in the pub at lunchtime. Well, what does he want? Take a wild guess. Well, his class is probably playing him up again, this one. Right, gorgeous. All right. Oh, well, so, look, James into body painting. And I thought you all were supposed to go in the car. Yeah, that's really funny. Good job, it's an old banger. Don't suppose Gaz would let you work on a proper car, would he? She's only mucking about. Yeah, I'm trying to work if you don't mind, all right? Ma. Hey. You've dug your own off. Is this your idea of helping me? I'm working the room, aren't I? Well, could you work these pumps? Oh, can you serve this customer, please? Why don't you serve him? We ain't even busy yet. Whiskey, please, man. What's up? Nothing. Oh, come on, you can't fool me. I ain't done something to upset you, then. My life doesn't revolve around you, Steve. Okay. Oh, sorry about the other night. You want to pick up where we left off? Not really. Uh, you got a minute? Looks like you'll have to get in the queue. <laughs> Do you want a drink? That wouldn't be very clever, would it? Why? What's been said? Nothing. But I don't know why I'm protecting you. Well, look, thanks for keeping the lid on it. Don't flatter yourself. I'm doing this for Lynn, not you. Very cosy. <laughs> I want to speak to you. And you. Mel, any chance you can look after the kids for a couple of hours? What? Oh, I've got my hands for you. I hope you sorted out a little problem with a bank. Yeah, it's all down, Phil. I can't take that. You've already taken it. Well, I'll land that back then, will not I? I don't want to know about the gory details. But I do know that my family are at each other's throats. And the little bird told me it's got something to do with you. Me? Why would anyone want to be fighting over me? Because you're a little child, so with your brains in your trousers. Oh, that's nice. And you're not the little Miss Innocent in all this. I'll leave it out, Dad. But as I said, I'm not interested in the wise or wherefores. I just want to draw a line under it and get back to normal. All right? Fine by me. Can I go now? Yeah, but if I find out you've done anything to upset my daughter or any of my family, you lose your privileges. Do you get my meaning? Yeah, yeah. 
Good. I'm not finished with you yet. <laughs> Let me help you. Thanks. <laughs> My maths was never that good at school, and if I've messed up the taking. Oh, don't worry, Mark's a decent bloke. He'll let you have a couple of quid. This morning, a couple. I was just leaving. Right? I will be. I think you're due a break. Over there. You have to make such a fuss. This needs sorting. Do you remember what your mother used to say when you fell out? Hmm? There's enough trouble in the world. Exactly. Now, she's not around to keep the family together. So I'm saying it. Well, she started it. She even admitted it. Did she go through this again? And then she tried to blame Mark Gary. Well, I didn't come here to referee a rematch. I just want you two to kiss and make up. I've already had words with Gary. What did you say? The same as I'm telling you. There's enough trouble in the world. Now, are we going to call a truce or what? Hmm? Sorry. Sorry I had a gun. There. Yeah. That wasn't too hard, was it? Now, I'll see you tea time and no boxing gloves, all right? You just stay away from our Gary then. Don't worry. You can keep him. It'll be two minutes. What are you looking at? You, raising your hand to that nice young gal in there. Do it again, I'll be straight onto the old bill, I promise you. Why don't you mind your own business, you nosy old cow? Did you hear what he said to me? Mel. Hold it right there, you. Yeah, I've just heard what you said. Nobody insults my nan and gets away with it. We want an apology and we want it now. Tough. Oi! So you took the gold, this is not to open. Oh! What are you... Oh, yeah, mate, do you want a free sample of the old wall? Get it tight. Well, well, get look who it is. Mr. I'm mighty himself. Give me the money. Give me the money. What? Do you believe in banks anymore? Do you know what? You've got to milk him out. You can't get away from me, that is. Are you listening? Don't make a scene, eh? You ask me, you don't like women. Is that right, Ian? You don't like women? Yeah, me, I love them. It's a perfect beverage for a man of your discernment, you know? Oh! Move your foot. Apology first. Move your foot. Apology for me to my nan and my sisters. Five pints for the tenner. I'll have a fucking way. Ian! I got it. What? The money. Come on. What you told him? He said yes. Yeah. Oh, here he is. The boy wonder returns. Last of folks. Hey, I want a word with you. Oi, where are you going? What do you want? I oh, hear yeah, you've been giving my girl some lip. Oh, no, I haven't. Well, that's not what I've heard. In fact, you've been downright rude. You called Mo an old cow, and you barged in on Lynn and the ladies. That was a mistake. Yeah, and you've also pushed Zoe and Cat around. Now, that's not on, do you hear? That is not on at all. Right. Apologise to them. Right now. Sorry. Hey. Properly. One by one. I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Will you keep your interfering tarts out of my way? Right. 